So the Insta360 X3 has been out for about a year now. And in today's video, I wanna share my long-term honest review and opinion about this camera and whether or not I think it's worth getting. And thanks to Epidemic Sound, which is the sponsor of today's video, I've been able to use amazing music with my Insta360 X3 for every single trip I've been on. But more on that later. Now, I've been taking the Insta360 X3 all over the place and I must say it has been an absolute blast. I've been taking it through different places here in Norway as well as through airports and airplanes and I've taken it through the Hawaiian forest, the beach, top of mountains, you name it. But of course, as a content creator, this is not the only camera I use. I also have my Mini 3 Pro, my DJI Action 4, my Go 3, my Avada FPV drone and so on. But there is something with the X3 which makes me choose this every single time when I'm going somewhere. I don't mind the lower resolution I get with the 5.7K video spread over a 360 degree field of view because the versatility adds up to the lower resolution. It just gives me more freedom and I can adjust the image later in the studio or mobile app which I personally think is awesome. And there's also things the X3 can do as a 360 camera that no other cameras can do which is reframing. Because it shoots in a 360 degree field of view, you can literally spin it around in the direction you want, as well as adding some dynamic movements with keyframes, or you can even track a certain subject or object, or if you don't wanna do that, you can also enable the direction lock, which will keep the lens in a consistent place. Now, one of my favorite things to do with the X3 is of course, traveling. But I recently got myself a new motorcycle, which just adds to the uses of of my X3. Now, riding a motorcycle itself is probably one of the most satisfying things I've done, but being able to record everything when I'm riding, whether it's the front, back, or either of the sides, or change from one angle to the other angle, is something I can only do with a 360 camera. Unless I stop the bike to adjust the position of the Action 4 or the GoPro and then mount it somewhere else for then to record a short sequence, for then to stop again and then mount it in a different position, I don't have to do that with the Insta360 X3 because it records everything around it. So it's the perfect camera if you're doing motor vlogs or just want to have a little bit more versatility in your life. It's just fantastic how this technology works. And it just makes recording videos more fun because you don't really know what you're recording, but you're still recording everything. So when you go back to reframe or preview your footage, you're able to see everything around you, even the things you missed with your own eyes or the things you would most definitely miss with a regular action camera. And even though it's really easy to compare the Insta360 X3 up against the Action 4 and the GoPro Hero 11, these are not really comparable because there's two different cameras. Although the X3 can shoot 4K videos in the single lens mode, I would say that's just a bonus. You would get a 360 camera to mainly shoot 360 videos anyway, but if you also want to have that regular action camera look, you can also get that with the X3. Now, before we talk about the pros and cons with the Insta360 X3 after using it for a year now, let's take a look at today's sponsor, Epidemic Sound. Now, Epidemic Sound offers a huge library of music and sound effects at a low cost. Only 130 euro for a full year, which means you're able to upload and monetize as many videos as you want on all different social media platforms, even your own website. Now, browsing through 40,000 music tracks or 90,000 sound effects can be quite tedious, but Epidemic Sound has made that easy by adding some key features like Find Similar, which will find similar tracks or sound effects to the one you're listening to, which makes it faster and more convenient to get through the sounds. And if your channel has a specific theme, let's say you're doing traveling or some cinematic content, or maybe you're a vlogger, you can also find different playlists, which has been specifically made for these styles. But when you're making your YouTube videos, let's say you're struggling to find some music suitable for that type of video, then don't worry, because Epidemic Sound has this amazing feature 
feature called search with video. So what this means is that you can add your own video file and based on the video file you upload, the algorithm will find suitable tracks for you and for that scene, which makes the whole process of finding music so much better. But you can also test all of this yourself for free with my link in the description. So sign up today and get a 30 day free trial with no strings attached, link down below. Now let's talk about the pros and cons of the using the Insta360 for a year. Now, to be honest, there's not really that many cons. I've been trying to find some, but it's hard. I can say it doesn't have a higher resolution than 5.7K and it doesn't have 10 bit, but that wouldn't be fair because it's not relevant. I could also say that the GoPro has a better image and yeah, it does, but it doesn't shoot 360 videos. So as for the ways that I like to use the X3, I'm actually more than satisfied. I know it's not as sharp as the other regular action cameras like the Action 4, and that's why I use those too. But I prefer to use the X3 because it's actually fun to use. So yeah, I can't really give you any cons when it comes to the X3 because I'm 100% satisfied. And it's really hard to dig up some cons, but if I have to say any, it would probably be that it has a 30 minute record limit. But don't get me wrong, it will record longer than 30 minutes, but it splits the clip or the entire record duration into 30 minute clips, which I guess is fine. But if I have to put in a con, I guess that would be it. So that's the only con that I can think of. Now, what are the pros of owning a 360 camera and the Insta360 X3? Well, first, you don't really have to think about anything when you're out traveling, riding, doing activities and whatnot. It's the most very free experience you'll ever have. Now, another thing I really like to use with the Insta360 X3 is, of course, the 3 meter selfie stick, which I think is a must if you have the Insta360 X3 or if you decide to get one. You can't miss the 3 meter stick because it's just fantastic. And to be honest, I use this 90% of the time and I just love having those fake drone follow shots in places I can't really fly my Mini 3 Pro or in places where I have too much respect for the surrounding elements like when me and my wife went to the zoo. An amazing place, but not a place I wanna fly my drone. So to just have that X3 on the three meter selfie stick made a huge difference and the shots turned out amazing. Now, to make my life a little bit easier when it comes to using the Insta360 X3, I've also grabbed a few other accessories. So the first one, which I'm super excited to test out is the new invisible dive case. I love snorkeling and diving and just being near or in the water. And on our last trip to Hawaii, I had my first proper test with the X3 and the current dive case at that time. It looked good, but I didn't enjoy the weird look of the case itself when I was framing myself, which was a bummer. But with this new invisible dive case, you should be able to remove the case and the stick completely, which is something that caught my attention. So I'm really excited to test out the new invisible dive case and give you my feedback on that and let you know whether or not this is worth the investment. Now, when I go for a hike, I also like to use the X3 in different ways. One of them being the three meter selfie stick mounted to my backpack. The only problem is that I need to take it down before turning it off or on, which is a hassle when I'm all packed up. So the remote controller has been my best friend. And what's awesome is that this actually works with a variety of Insta360 products like the X3, One RS one inch model, One RS twin edition, I believe, and also probably the X3. Too. So with this you can change settings and you can start and stop record as you want. But you can also do this with your Apple Watch. So if you're looking for a remote, make sure that you check your Apple Watch first and see if that can connect and use the Insta360 app and then connect to your Insta360 X3 before you jump on the remote. However, I'm not sure how long the reach is from the Apple Watch itself to the X3 or how stable it is, but I reckon it's something about four or five meters. But if you don't have an Apple Watch and you're looking for something to add to your X3, the remote has definitely been a huge upgrade for me, especially when I'm out on the bike where I can't really control the camera using my watch. Now on the bottom of the cage here, I also have the quick lock mount system from Insta360 and these have actually been solid and changing around my X3 is now 
much more convenient than having to unscrew and screw it back on to a different mount. It's just snap snap and it's locked in place. And of course the wind slayers which you, you can make these yourself but it's a pretty cost efficient way of getting better audio and I quite like these when I'm out riding on my motorcycle. I don't do much of that vlogging style so I like this when I'm riding on my motorcycle because it helps remove a lot of that you know awful wind sound and when I'm out riding my bike there is a lot of wind so just to remove some of that it's really really nice so yeah other than that I have a few extra batteries I have the charging hub for the x3 and a few 512 gigabyte SanDisk micro SD cards so yeah, links to everything will be down in the description below. So this is basically my X3 setup. Some accessories are better for some scenarios and some are better for other scenarios. Now, when it comes to battery life and overheating, there is a lot of mixed feelings about this. So I did another proper test here in the office, a fully charged battery, 5.7K at 30 FPS, 25 degrees Celsius and no form of cooling. The X3 recorded for 87 minutes and 28 seconds with no overheating issues. And this is indoor, it's a shitty environment compared to how you would actually use it. So as soon as I take this outside, there will be some sort of airflow to the camera, which will make it less likely to overheat. I can't really say anything bad about the X3. Yeah, the image is not as good as a GoPro's 5.3K resolution, but I didn't get the X3 for the quality. I got it to experience 360 and to have a different style of shooting videos. And after watching tons of YouTube videos on the X2, as well as having my wife consistently saying, you should get a 360 camera. Well, here I am and it has been the best travel companion ever. So this, the Go 3 and the Mini 3 Pro, I'm all set. So there you have my long-term one year later review of the Insta360 X3. Don't forget to check out Epidemic Sound. Links will be down below. I'm also curious to know whether or not you have the X3 or if you will be getting one. Let me know in the comments below. If you found any value in today's video, let me know by dropping a like. And if you haven't subscribed already, make sure to hit that subscribe button so we don't miss out on the next video. And I will see you in the next one.